Church, if you would have a seat as we enter into our prayer time today. Um, here in a little bit, we will have two members of our service team come up and put baskets at the front. Uh, and this is a great time for you guys just to prepare your prayer cards, your tithe, and your offering as we enter into this prayer time. I want to encourage you guys today. We do have altars at the right and at the left for you all. Uh, if you want to come up by yourself, if you want to come up with your family, there's something about going before God, just saying, God, I give this time to you and just praying to him and just lifting things up. The prayer cards do exactly that as well. We as a church, we want to know what's going on in your life, the things that you've been holding on to, things that we need to know about that we can stand in faith with you on. If you would, fill those out and put them in the basket. I want to talk to you guys today about um, meeting needs. Uh, we had a community group in our church um, find out about a huge need that was occurring in the life of one of their members. Uh, it was during a prayer time that the community group person spoke up and said, hey guys, this is going on. As all of us do when we're in community groups, uh, side note, if you're not in a community group, you need to get in a community group, okay? Um, prayer time, the person was saying, look guys, my family is going through something really rough right now. My sister, um, she stepped out in faith and she basically said, I'm going to emergency foster three kids. I don't know anything about these kids, but I know they need help. Uh, the kids, a little bit about them, they were coming and leaving a very hard, difficult, emotionally, physically situation. And uh, typically those emergency fostering opportunities are just like that. They go out and they try to find a family that would say yes, that would just harbor and bring hope and love to a situation that has been very hard to deal with. So her sister steps up and says, yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to step into this, this spot. I don't know all the details. I'm just going to leave by faith that I can get everything together for the time when those kids come up. And she needed to get ready uh, financially, uh, emotionally, and she needed to prepare her house. I saw uh, that community group step up in a huge way. That community group looked at that situation and they started to do something amazing. Each one of them started to look at the gifts and talents and the resources that they had, and they started to meet needs that that family needed. The sister needed a set of bunk beds because the kids, they had three kids and the, room, the, the house was a little bit smaller. One family said, hey, I've got some bunk beds. We were gonna give them away. We're gonna give them to your sister. And the person in the prayer time was just like, wow, this is crazy, it's amazing. Uh, another family said, hey, they probably need a bigger vehicle and we're gonna help you with that too. Wow, it's crazy. Then they all came together and said, you know what? And instead of meeting on our community group Sunday night, we're actually gonna go to her house. We're gonna get it ready. We're gonna paint it. We're gonna make that space as prepared as we can to get it ready for those kids to come in because they don't deserve that situation. They deserve to be loved. They deserve to have hope and they deserve to enter into a space that they know that they can thrive and live. And so they came around that family, they went into that home, they got it ready. And those kids, when they came in there, they had beds, they had love, and they got to hear about Jesus. You see, when we come together as a church, and that's exactly what happened in that moment, we get to be kingdom builders. We get to go out and see the needs that are so evident of this world. People are hurting, people are sad, people are torn away from hope. And as kingdom builders, we get to go out, we get to meet needs, and we get to be, God blesses us to be the hands and feet of Christ. And we get to go and look at them and say, no, I know you haven't had hope before, but today, hope has arrived. And this family, the Sunday I remember is they came to be here during a baby dedication. And the youngest baby had so many uh, physical things going on that they didn't know if that baby was gonna walk. And I remember sitting out those doors, guys, right out there. And I remember seeing this little baby, toddler now, just walking and chasing a butterfly. Just like, ah, chasing a butterfly. And that's exactly how it looked. And I was like, that's not by just a random occurrence. That, because, that was because a church family fulfilled a need. That was because a church family said yes to a situation that they knew they could help with. 
And this is what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. When we see needs, we have to, we have to be moved by God to say yes. Because this is typically sometimes what we do. We will try to calculate it. We'll say, this isn't the right time for me. This isn't the right situation for me. This is a Tuesday, and I don't like doing things on Tuesday. I like doing things on Wednesday because that's the God's day. No, we just need to say yes and move. So I challenge you this week, when the Holy Spirit moves, and it will happen, and you see a need, don't try to quantify it. Don't try to understand it. You just say yes, and you allow God to use you to fulfill a need in a person to bring hope to a situation. And you watch what happens. You'll see that, you'll have that moment. Maybe you'll see it, maybe you'll know that it'll occur of life being brought to a death situation. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today. God, we want to be your kingdom builders. We want to be the people that bring hope to death situations, God. We want to bring life, God, into this world around us. If we're not doing that, God, I pray that you convict us, God. I pray that you move us to action, Father. I pray, God, that you would allow us to examine every area of our life if we need to be bolder, if we need to move quicker, if we need to say, yes, Lord, allow us to do that, Father. I thank you, Lord, for this church that believes in going out to to seeing the lost and to bring salvation to those hearts, God. I thank you for this church that has been so generous, God, that they've said yes to so many things, Lord. And as, as we look back as the staff, we just see growth and growth and growth. And it's because of you, God. We thank you for using us. We pray, Lord, for our tithes and our offerings, God, as we lift these things up to you. They're a testimony of how good of a God that you are. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to use us. I pray that you would bless this time as we continue to worship today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.